Okay, testing. Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video, hopefully it's quick, um, to just very quickly tell you that there's a huge difference between paper trading on Weeble and um, actually trading the stock market on Weeble. So the long and short of it is just basically don't even waste your time paper trading on Weeble. It's just not, I, I've spent, I've been studying the stock market since March, 2020. It's February, 2021. So it's been about 11 months and I have been paper trading for about six months or so. Um, let me tell you something. In the paper trading world, I was just completely unstoppable. I went from maybe $25,000 because I knew that's what I needed to truly day trade. And um, so I, mean, I figured like that'd be realistic. And I grew that to maybe $80,000 in about three weeks. Um, and I did that over and over and over and over and over again, okay? So I'm like, I am ready, you know, this is this is good. I've been doing this for about six months, so much so I became bored with it, okay? Anyways, so um, finally, I got $40,000. I put it onto this Weeble account and um, the money came, I took today off, tomorrow off, Monday off. I figured I'd take three real days and then my approach is scalping. So what I had been doing was um, scalping penny stocks. Um, basically, I'd find something that went up pre-market about 35% or so for no reason. There's no news. There's no catalyst. Okay. And then during the day, I would um, just scalp it little by little um, when I had the chance in my little penny, I mean, sorry, paper trading space, right? Um, just literally a penny down, a penny down, two pennies down, right? Large position, two pennies down. Um, order your order is always filled in paper trading world and um, I mean that's it really right and then also there's no limit to what you can short so when I got into the actual stock market on the Weeble through the Weeble broker I came to find very quickly that most of the uh, stocks that I was shorting were not available to short via Weeble so that was one two if there was a like zoom I think is available um, at the time so I started off with forty thousand dollars that was yesterday okay a long time ago um, today now I have Twenty-seven thousand dollars, as you can see, um, didn't go so great the last couple of days. <laughs> Long story, I can tell you that. But anyways, so um, I think Zoom, Z O M, uh, it could be shorted. I believe that you know it was hard to borrow. It had maybe I, I can't remember maybe like a. 23% interest rates 10% 23% I don't know because I looked at so many different stocks today anyway and then when I did attempt to do it I couldn't use a larger position size I had to use I could probably only use like $3,600 even though I had $30,000 so and I do understand that with shorting obviously it could quickly go the other way and you could blow up your account and they're trying to, to minimize that there but the point is I wanted to call that out just in case there's someone else out there like me who was using a large position size trying to short stocks um, you know a couple pennies at a time seeing that they're coming down it is just not at all uh, achievable via Weeble because number one many um, many stocks are not available to short via this broker and then two um, you when I tell you you're not even accidentally getting your order filled and by the time you are getting your order filled I don't care if it's long I don't care if it's short it's taken so long you know a lot of what I was doing was maybe you know 10,000 shares 10,000 shares 10,000 shares you know of something for two bucks and um, it by the time that the entire order was filled the price had moved in the direction that I didn't want it to go right I was trying to very quickly get in get my order filled and then very quickly get out and so now I'm in a position where it's negative and then not only is it negative it's going completely the other way and so I have to you know cut my losses oh my god so the there is certainly a lag with this and then I set up hotkeys, right? So you can go to your settings, 
you can um, set up these hotkeys. So I set up one for buy and sell and canceling um, open orders. I can't tell you how many times I would um, I would attempt to buy something and then the order just would not be executed at all okay then I would have to flip to my cell phone app and try to buy it there mind you how slow is that okay or I would try to buy and then this would prompt me to essentially sign in with my password that allows me to access this account altogether it's like are you out of your mind I'm actively trading you know and the same thing would happen with selling so um, I'd hit my shortcut key for selling nothing would happen I then have to go to my cell phone try to get out of the position I mean in doing so how much time has gone by 10 seconds we know that that's a lifetime it's an absolute lifetime so it was a disaster for me uh, so I've got unfortunately like I was saying before I took off today um, tomorrow and Monday so I am gonna have to figure out a way to be successful using this tool um, what I have found just as a note in, in the little bit of research that I have done it looks like the opportunities are at 6 a.m. no wait um, sorry I'm sorry forgive me 7 a.m. right which I think there's a brokerage a brokerage that opens up um, their orders people take their um, they take their profits driving the price of the stock down you can buy then and then you can sell so 7 a.m 8 a.m and then 9 30. i do see why people say don't don't waste time trading all day it's just the later in the day um it's just senseless there's just it's just complete nonsense um I, I, just so much something that i wouldn't want to be a part of so anyways Hopefully tomorrow um, goes better and Monday. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on those time frames, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., around 9.45 or so a.m., right? And then just leave it there. I'll watch, I'll study patterns and things like that. I'll practice. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't really know what there is for me to practice here, considering the fact that I have to get all of my money out of here. Um, now we know that that's going to take two days for the money to settle, so I won't be able. It won't settle until next Wednesday, and then I can try to do a wire down to my um, checking account. Hopefully, I can get it Thursday, and then over to another place. The other places that I'm considering are interactive brokers, um, because they're a direct market access broker and then also uh, TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. If you guys have any suggestions for me at all, don't be mean, okay? I know that this is a disaster. I recognize that, but I assure you that most of this had to do with the lag in this ridiculous system, the fact that the shortcut keys were not working, being prompted to sign in a billion times, having to toggle between my cell phone and this app, I can assure you, okay, this would have gone much, much different had those things not been true. Also, I ran into a circuit breaker halt around like 9.45 or so. And so um, I had 1,500 shares of something. It was, I think, EIA, I believe it was. So I had 1,500 shares. I bought in at like 16.51. The thing was skyrocketing. Circuit breaker hall. Um, they then, when they re-opened uh, trading, it wasn't five minutes, by the way, which it should have been. It was 10 minutes for whatever reason. Anyway, once they did that, it it opened at. $12.14, mind you, not one thing that I could have done about that. So I lost $6,000 there. And then the rest of this truly, I, anyways, I did a lot of testing just at very small volume just to kind of see one share, 100 shares, things like that. I am 100% certain that I will be successful with this. That is just it. If any, if somebody can do it, then I will be a person who does it. So I just want to share this with you guys. So hopefully somebody can um, learn from this and I can learn from you guys. And um, I will catch you in the next video.